Hi everyone. I thought I would bring you along to do some potato harvest and see what we get out of the garden. Potato harvest is like one of the best garden chores because it's like digging for treasure. It's so exciting no matter if you find big potatoes, small potatoes, as long as they're good potatoes, it's a lot of fun. The bugs, not so much fun, but usually they're nothing that's going to bother you. Last year, my mom helped me dig potatoes after the girls were born, and I did have a, a frog or a toad that I dug up, and that like squealed and jumped out of my hand. That was not, I mean, it was totally harmless, but that wasn't fun. Um, so we'll see if we win any prizes in Mother Nature today, but wanted to show you the potatoes that we started with cutting them and then healing them over, putting them in the garden. We held them up. So now we're going to harvest them. Here are the potato rows. I've already pulled the golden Yukon Golds. I think that's what they were. I pulled those ones already. Um, both of these rows are, are very much ready to be pulled. I think my idea is to flap the straw in the middle so that I can compost the rows. Um, or maybe put the straw back on top of the rows. Either way, I need to get everything out of here so that I can pick up the drip line and clean everything out. The potato plant itself, I will compost or just toss in the hedgerow. That's not something I would feed to my goats or my chickens because those are toxic. They are part of the nightshade family. So not gonna give that as a garden scrap to anybody, but let's go see what we got in the ground. Okay, so first things first, I have my little mini garden fork. I'm going to use that to loosen up the dirt, but I'm not going to get close to the plant. So I'm going to stay far to the outside of the edge so that I don't hopefully spear any of the potatoes. So I'll pull back this straw.
Okay. Those are all of the potatoes. I'm going to go through and pick them up. I had four that I kind of set to the side. Those ones were chewed up by some kind of rodent. I'm assuming a mole or something along those lines. I have quite a few of those that try to get in the garden in the summer. In the winter, they dig little tunnels. So I, he must have just ran into those four potatoes and tried to make a, a path around them or through them or whatever. But So those four are probably going to be trash. But otherwise, everything else looks awesome. I'm impressed. Um, these were the Eva potatoes, if I remember right. Not quite as productive. Decent size and everything. Not overly huge. Like a good eating size. But not as productive plants. I'm hopeful when we get into the next row, there's going to be quite a few potatoes in there. Those are a much more productive and usually a bigger size variety. So excited about that. So let's get these cleaned up. Probably sift back through the row and then call it good. If you notice, I only use my fork in the beginning. That's because usually once you get started, especially the way that I plant potatoes, like the dirt's nice and soft around them, once you get started into it, you can kind of just keep going down the row. So then you don't have to worry about spearing potatoes, which is nice. Hi everyone. Got all the potatoes harvested, wherever, wherever, wherever my fingers was point. They're all back there behind me. Um, Laid them all out yesterday, no, day before. So now what I need to do, I left all of the mud and gunk on them. So if I run my hands over them nice and gently, brush most of that off, and then it'll be mostly clean potato, that's what I'm gonna end up storing. So what I'm gonna go through and do is brush all the dirt off these potatoes, and then I will put them in a box, put them in the basement and cover them. Really important with storing potatoes, they can't see light. If they happen to you know, be exposed to sunlight, anything like that, they start to turn green, which is actually poisonous. So then you can't eat them, they're all kind of junk. They need to stay cool, somewhat humid, not like crazy humid temperatures. I have a refrigerator in the basement that I will plug in eventually. Our basement stays cool enough right now um, it's probably in like the 60s and I can get away with that for another maybe month and then I'll have to put them in the refrigerator and I keep that at like 45 um, just to store them for the winter. So looking forward to getting them all cleaned up. I think all in all out of all the potatoes in the garden, I think we're going to have like 50, 55 pounds. So not bad for two 23 foot rows. So... Gotta get these cleaned up now.